Jason O'Brien. Hey, Jane. Coach Jason here. Hope you're all doing well. So I want to talk about the workout after a time trial. You know, we're approaching the start of a fall season or a cross-country season, and you're going to get a good idea of how well, you know, how much your dad, what your athletes have done this summer, how fit they're going to come back, and, and so on and so forth. And we talked about already, you know, how to test them at the one-mile or two-mile 3K or something like that just to see um, – what an accurate indicator of their fitness looks like and how to set them set them all up for the proper training groups based on training paces, based on their current fitness. So uh, in order to keep them healthy and set up your cross-country season accordingly uh, so you can have a tight, hopefully top seven, at the very least a top five. Um, but how throwing a little bit more creativity into the, into the training as well. And this is what this next workout can do. And again, this is where you know a, a relay would come in handy. Let's just say you have ten people, you break it up into groups of five or eight people. Eight people you break it up into groups of four. You have a relay race on a cross country course if you have if if you have one available to you, and you have them do eight hundred meter repeats. Let's just say four to five to six times an eight hundred, or you have them do thousand meter repeats, four to five of those, or twelve hundred meter repeats, four to five of those, or whatever it might be gives them an opportunity to um, participate in a race type environment, a race type scenario and test themselves in reps um, and, and do it in a way where they actually have somebody next to them where they might be racing. Okay. Or, you know, one team might be ahead of another. It also, to, you know, gives them an opportunity to test themselves in an environment when they're way ahead of somebody or versus where they're way behind somebody. So this is a good opportunity to, do a workout like this before your first cross country race. So let's just say um, a week to two out, you test them out mile to mile and get everybody's fitness down and what and so on and so forth. And then you can design relay races like this where you have some of the fastest people with some of the slowest people or whatnot. Okay. And you mix it up, throw some creativity, throw some fun, let them have some fun, but create a relay race. Where again, they're doing 800s or 1Ks or 1200s or some cases a mile, but I would, I'd, I'd probably keep it between those three 800s or, and again, one. So they will have a good amount of rest in between each effort because they're, you know, they're waiting for the second, their other teammate, and, their, and the third and fourth teammate to um, run their rep. So before they run them again, so they could run these reps pretty hard. Okay. It's even harder than VO2 max. So they can run 800 as hard as they can or the 1200s as hard as they can or the 1Ks as hard as they can because they're going to have a lot of recovery in between. And again, this is an opportunity again for them to, again, participate in a race type scenario um, without compromising any, any of their training either because you, you already know we've already tested them um, at a mile or, or 3K or 2 mile. We've got an indicator of where they're at. And now we know how hard they can kind of do these workouts. But this provides them a little bit of a race environment before the first race in a way that's enjoyable, but also in a way that tests their tests their fitness. And again, with, with so much rest, they can run these things a lot you know, harder than 5K pace, harder than cross-country pace, harder than 8K pace, or whatever it might be. So it gives them an opportunity to really, really test the legs Put a little bit of uh, a little bit of zip in the legs before transitioning into the other components of the training. So I wanted to go over this, re, you know, relay workout as a great session to do after a time trial. And again, a, a way to test them a little bit differently, a way to test them that it makes it easier to transition into a race. Time trials don't necessarily do that. Time trials are great for determining what everybody's current shape is and fitnesses okay and then setting your training paces accordingly and making it easier to, to come up with training groups and again you can mix and match your training groups here and so on give the shorter the, the, the slower kid or athletes an opportunity to be a part of really with some of the faster ones and do it any way you feel is most creative and most original and most enjoyable but this is a an ideal first workout to do a couple days or maybe even a week after you test your athletes and get their uh, time trial set and done and you can do something like this before transitioning into a cross-country race so let me know what you're thinking okay 
Give me your feedback. Load up the comments. Give me your insights. Have you done this before? Is it something you'd consider? Do you think it's a good idea? I've done it, and it's a lot of fun. And it's also, again, again, great way of testing people's leg speed and race abilities in shorter distances before transitioning to the race itself. And it can make it... Uh, and make it a little bit easier for those that happen to go out very hard in races. Some of these races, even early season, go out really hard. And it'll give them an opportunity to not have a lot of lactate in their legs um, going out hard because they've done a workout like this already. So, again, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're a coach or an athlete. It not only greatly appreciate, not only means the world. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers, but I want to make sure you're not missing important running content and training content because we're going to continue to pad the videos. I've got 400 videos already from half mile all the way up to the marathon, every level you can think of, detailed broken down training, and I've got a lot more coming. So um, be sm again, be safe. Give me your insights as coaches and athletes in the comments. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.